Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Scorpios and it's a general reading for November onwards 2023. It's all about everything you need to know, my dear um, Scorpio. Everything that is important for you to know, why certain things are taking place for November, around November, after November, and so that everything is explained to you and you are supported in the power of knowing and knowledge. Welcome, my dear viewers. Welcome each and every one of you. Let us begin with the first. And happy birthdays to every Scorpio, by the way. I wish you a glorious birthday and a wonderful happy birthday to each and every one of you celebrating all right my dear viewers let's see what is the message for all scorpios for november the most important message oh not too many we just need one okay yes just one for all scorpio i guess the tree of life is the one that is the seem to be the message the tree of life is beautiful this is about good karma it's about partnerships it's about true wisdom and making good choices in life you are going to be empowered strength given the the power the strength to be able to make the best choices for you the tree of life is also the beginning the foundation um from which you are going to grow and and also why become wiser a lot of spiritual growth your vibration is going to be heightened you might start seeing dreams and the next day oops and the next day the dreams come out if you just keep your eye on your dreams you will see a uh, heighten uh, in your vibrations um, seeing a dream thinking it's a dream and the next day or the day after it becomes a reality so pay attention to your dreams i feel like a lot of hidden matters are going to be revealed to you through your dreams um, partnership big time those of you connected to the chinese year of the dog is also this is very much for you now let's see what the sacred forest has to tell us for all scorpio for november and it shows a little bit of patience is needed the foggy bog is all about patience not too much just a little bit and you are going to be achieving something really big actually you're overcoming a major hurdle in your life and it looks like to me that you are going to be transcending starting a new chapter and a lot of happiness a lot of entertainment is coming so a little bit of patience and it's all going to happen for you now let's have a look at four major impacts that will impact every scorpio for november starting with the first one not a very good start the five of wands this shows that there is an area of your life where there may be conflict there could be disagreement there could be something where people are not listening they're just talking and talking everybody wants to get their own um, point of view to the other one and there's no listening so i'm going to clarify it and we'll find out further about this this is where it's going to leave you torn between whether you should stay on this path or whether you should move on you could be torn between two um, decisions this is where it says life decisions here it comes where you are going to make good choices you'll know when there is a lot of arguments when there's a lot of quarrels when there's a lot of disagreements that um you'll you'll be able to be able to choose in a in a better way perhaps by from arguments a lot of truth comes out and you're able to become stronger by knowing let's see the next one again we've got patience um your guardian angels are saying a little bit of patience and you are going to be very happy you are going to feel very stable in your life there's going to be a lot of changes that are going to bring on a lot of happiness a lot of happiness and a lot of um, support support is coming in a big way so prepare for that my dear scorpio support and a little bit of patience twice okay so you're gonna get there very soon now we've got the beginning of prosperity so maybe they're saying your guardian angels are saying just be a little patient and there's going to be a new beginning this new beginning is going to be very prosperous it could be a new career could be a new business a new job a new idea or simply the beginning of prosperity overall that's what this is all about the beginning of prosperity what you don't see happening and coming there is someone of fire energy that um, you are going to be needing the strength to be able to move away from perhaps grieving the loss of you will you are leaving and they may be grieving the loss fire energy sagittarius leo aries somebody that might have fire in them i feel like uh, you are going to be given the strength the power to be able to move away or they are going to be uh 
given the power to be able to move away to a better place, to the light, towards a better lifestyle. But the truth is going to release them ultimately. Somebody is moving away. It could be yourself or it could be someone else. It depends if you are a Scorpio with fire energy in you. Now let's have a look at three more important impacts for all Scorpio for November. Three major impacts. Let's see what else you need to know. Wow, a rebirth, a new beginning, a new lease on life. How amazing. Archangel Gabriel, a lot of rewards, a lot of compensation, rising like the phoenix. <laughs> Um, rising like the phoenix and a lot of rewards a lot of um, happy times com coming a new rebirth a new life and healing comes with that the second one wow the devil something controlling something that's been overwhelming you something that's been suffocating you something that's been restricting you something that you've been doing too much it's coming to a healing you're healing from that slowly and steady you are going to heal from this situation that was binding you or you were doing too much of, or was giving you sleepless nights, perhaps to do with the truth, perhaps blaming yourself, perhaps uh, not happy anxiety, or somebody that's uh, feeling unhappy. This situation is coming to a release, to an end. That's what the Nine of Swords is, where it's a bit challenging, but coming to an end. You are going to be empowered, and I feel like something magnificent is happening here. What you don't see happening is you are going to be empowered big time. A lot of power is going to be given to you, to be in control of your life and your destiny. This is what's coming, what you don't know. Someone of earth energy is coming, someone that you can trust, someone wonderful that you can rely on, someone that you will thrive with together. And you are going to be having a lot of emotional fulfillment to the highest level. The Nine of Cups is wish, wish card, the dreams and wishes and desires being fulfilled. So that is what's coming. That's beautiful. Okay, moving on now to two more major impacts. And then I'll, you. these are just tarot, we're doing tarot, and then I'll go into the oracles. Let's see. Two important factors for all Scorpios. Here we go for November, starting with the first one. Hmm, fear. We'll talk about this in a moment. We'll just get the other one so I can look into both of them together. The truth. And here we go. Your higher self is trying to tell you something. That something is hidden from you, something you're not aware of. That's what... This is the high priestess, and it shows like something's going to be activated. It's as though your your heart chakra is getting activated. Your vibrations are heightening to the point where you will start going through some sort of awakening, preparing you for something really big so that you are aware, so that you are uh, the shift that's coming. It's going to be um, quite elaborate and quite big what's coming this new birth this new way of life so it's going to be spectacular and your high self is trying to tell you that it's saying prepare yourself for this new way of life it's going to be spectacular now for those of you who are going through you know a lot of thinking um anxiety this is incredible i feel like this is this here anxiety fear um fear of the unknown uh feeling you know overthinking things a lot being worried negative thinking you know I feel like you are going to reach to a comfort zone and everything is going to go well right after this, this this challenging time. You are going to be released from this situation where you're feeling as though somebody's controlling you or you might be dealing with someone very controlling. Okay, I'm going to clarify that too. One or two cards here, I've got to remember to clarify them. I'll do them first and then do the rest. Okay, we need two more for Scorpio. Okay, so that's really great. The coffin is wonderful. The coffin is about something ending. Something that's overwhelming you is coming to an absolute end. Something that should have ended some time ago, actually. Um, and you have to be very careful not to do anything in regard to bad investment. If you're investing, there are challenges uh, saving, but you are going to be uh, overcoming challenges and you are trying to save. It looks to me like there's a career and office work. Some of you are working night shift or pro probably a job coming to an end and moving to the next level. But there is something for sure, perhaps this situation is ending now the spiral is all about things becoming out of control but climbing the ladder you're rising beyond where you are upwards and i feel like some of you could be revisiting a job that you were doing before you left and you want to do again there is a promotion and there are connections connections taking you to the high levels so that's beautiful to know now let's see what else you need to know 
there are some things they might be um, uh, confirming and reaffirming. That's why I do different decks. I want to know what are the ones that are doubling up or tripling because that's where everything is. Uh, that's where the most important ones are. Now, um, we've got the moth spirit. This is about surrendering to something. While when you surrender to a situation that's been overwhelming you, let's say, you finally so let's say you were fighting and not accepting it, and then finally you accept it and you surrender, that's when it comes to an end. So there is a chapter of your life that's going to be closing. You did well. You fought, you fought, and then you're surrendering. You're letting go. You're accepting the way it should be, the way it is. And then finally, it's closing. The door is closing. This chapter closes. I feel like it was quite challenging. It affected you on a family level, maybe even. Uh, but it's over now. It's absolutely over. Coming to an end, which is beautiful. Right next to the coffin. How <laughs> amazing. It's connected to the coffin. Um, being at home, you'll feel that you're happy at home. You'll feel at peace at home again. It's as though someone's leaving. That was complicated, maybe. Um I feel like you're going to be feeling that you're at home, you're comfortable, you're transcending where you were, the changes that are taking place are making you feel so much in peace, love and peace, surrounded with love and peace. That is beautiful. Let's have a look at the butterfly spirit and see what they want to tell all Scorpios for November. That's one, the truth, and that's the second one. Okay, now... It shows here, it says that you are parental care. This is about parental care. This could be about um, taking care of your parents or you dealing with, dealing with the, you know, finding care for parents. And it could be uh, somebody actually leaving the nest and just showing their gratitude uh, and, and working out how to care for their parents. Be true to who you are. Very important. That's okay. Well, this happens when you're old and the old luck for the older Scorpios. Um, there could be someone leaving home and then they're trying to find care for you. At the same time, parental care is also about you becoming a parent and taking care of things or starting a family. Be true to who you are and um, that will help big time. Uh, it will, you will achieve a lot of understanding and a lot of self-control and self-realization. When you are true to yourself, true to who you are, you establish a lot and you set boundaries to and you don't like you take a stand and you you know you you won't let anyone step over the boundaries that you set let's see what else for scorpio for november we got the soulmate somebody amazing is coming maybe that's the rebirth oh wow an abundance how incredible is that have a look at that we've got soulmate and abundance the soulmate says soul contract partnership agreement soul contract someone amazing is coming that's um when i said to you a rebirth a new lease on life is going to be with your soulmate so prepare for that and the other one is abundance keep a positive mindset you'll be manifesting exactly what you want gratitude and bliss is coming you'll be in so much gratitude for the blessings pouring into your life i'll just put this closer so you can read it there it is okay amazing and this is in connection to this also, abundance and dreams come true. This card here, you see, this is about that. A lot of desires and wishes being granted. So soulmate could be one of them for some of you. Abundance could be for the rest of you. So that's what's coming. Now soulmate could be this person. You've got to look at your general reading. Oh my God, this is your general reading. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> sorry this is your general reading so what are we going to do we're going to find out who this person is and their star sign right at the end of this read i'm sorry my dear viewers i'm so tired mentally okay so we're going to go through all the um astrological signs we're going to shuffle and get five um star signs that are going to let us know who is the person that you are going to be consumed and overwhelmed with and dealing with and really on your mind in November? And if it is going to be this person, because this is this person is coming a bit later on, maybe they might come in November, end of November. We'll find out this is an, an earth energy. It could be Virgo, could be Taurus, could be um, Capricorn. So we'll see. Uh, we'll find out who this person is. Okay, now, and there was also Sagittarius. There was also, sorry, Sagittarius, yeah, fire energy. 
Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and we've got Aries here. So there's fire energy also. We'll find out who the fire energy is if you are dealing with fire energy. By the way, I forgot to say one thing about the emperor. There could be an offer that you can't refuse. So this is also another another important thing. There could be um, an offer of you um, doing something for someone or making some money or um, working for someone or leading a situation, becoming a team leader or manager. There could be an offer like that that you won't be able to refuse. Let's have a look at these angelic cards and then I'll start clarifying. For all Scorpios for November, we've got one. These are oracles, so we don't do uh, reverses. Only The reversals are only done and only make uh, sense in the tarot cards. So that you know, maybe this, I've never said this because I'll, for us, the readers, it's always obvious. Tarot cards have different meanings when, when the cards are reversed. But all the oracles, um, they don't have reverses. They just have normal, what they are. So if they're sitting wrong or whatever, it doesn't make any difference at all. So it just means I've put them upside down. Okay, now let's see one message before I read this, this passion that I just I see what is one message for all Scorpios. There it is. Okay. So before this, I'm going to talk about this. These two things. It says here, give a chance, I think. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah. Give your relationship a chance because working on your partnership is going to work well for you. So do work on it. Perhaps for some of you it might be worthwhile. And for others there could be a new passion or there could be a new passion igniting with the person that you're currently with. But I do feel like there is a rebirth. There is someone new. It says, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy and enjoy the passion that is there for you. That's beautiful. Friendship. It says, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship. For those of you who have a wonderful friendship with someone that you are having a relationship with and your love life is going to boom, dramatically improve and heighten. So nurture the bonds between you know each other now my dear viewers what i want to do is find out um about this the nine of pen uh, the nine of swords let's see what this is all about this uh, anxiety depression fear or you know not being happy let's see what the nine of swords is for all scorpios to understand it further commitment some of you are concerned about commitment talking about commitment and making decisions about partnerships Maybe you're not quite happy. Maybe you are already in a partnership and you're not happy or you have to make decisions. Maybe you've met someone and you've got to make decisions and maybe it's too soon. Maybe you're not ready to commit. Some of you might not be ready to commit. Some of you are wanting to commit and you have to make decisions. Maybe you've been proposed to. Everything is possible. There's a lot of passion, but there is also commitment. So if you are great friends and there's a lot of passion, maybe something magnificent is going to take place. I feel with the lovers here and the Hierophant, it shows that there will be something spectacular um, taking place. You're becoming wiser. You're, you're, you're becoming more, uh, what's the word, more elevated in your way of thinking. And perhaps if you are in a wrong relationship, you, you might want to leave it. Um, I feel like, you know, there could be a friendship that might be escalating to levels uh, beyond friendship that could be also a possibility and uh, there is a situation where you need to commit to something and um, very interesting here very interesting okay you are going to take time out there is separation without a doubt I feel like you're separating from someone that might have air energy in them Gemini Libra Aquarius um, I feel like there is something to do with separation because we had the page of swords. I didn't take it out, but I just saw that here there. What is your higher self trying to tell you? Let's find out. Oh, wow. Look at that. How simple is that? I mean, how amazing is that? What is your higher self high, uh, hidden from you and trying to tell you? Trying to tell you that there's a new beginning. New love is igniting. And it's going to be with your soulmate. Where is the soulmate? Where is that amazing card of the soulmate? Okay, so it's passion. And we're talking about soulmates. So how could I have lost it? Here it is, soulmate. So you are going to be, a new beginning is coming and you are destined to be with your soulmate. Someone wonderful. And I really, really feel like this person might be very strong, my dear Water. The only way you would find incredible incredible connection with someone they have to have 
earth energy in them and this is the earth energy virgo taurus or capricorn even if they're born water energy like you you blend well but you will never be happy unless you are with someone that has earth energy in them and there is the earth energy this is what you don't see coming this is what's coming so your higher self is trying to tell you a new beginning a new passion and it's going to be with your soulmate someone wonderful and the two of cups is a soulmate so we'll find out who this earth energy is at the end virgo taurus or capricorn we'll see which one now that's that one now let's have a look at let's have a look at the five of wands this um argument or this disagreement what is this for scorpios you're celebrating the ending of this argument this argument might come to a resolution this uh, argument might bring something out in the open and, and it gets resolved i feel like there's going to be a big celebration after this or it could be giving us timing as though when there is a disagreement there's going to be a lot to celebrate a beautiful life of luxury is coming up maybe a lot of money is coming in or maybe you're choosing a path where it's taking you or it could be the new birth a rebirth that's happening in your life a new lease on life that's giving you abundance but certainly the spiral is playing its role here where it says things are going out of control and you're climbing the ladder and um, moving forward promotions and being uplifted and don't forget the most important factor is that you are going to be dealing with a soulmate and a lot of abundance could be there too because i feel like you are destined for a life of leisure and happiness celebrating something magnificent so it could be the soulmates it could be the passion that might be ignited between you and someone it could be abundance it could be a new job it could be uh, the ace of uh, your dreams coming true it could be this also your wishes and desires being granted and also it can be the ace of where is the ace of mm, the ace of the beginning of prosperity it could be the beginning of love also let's just put that there it could be the beginning of igniting something new a new project a new love something magnificent or it could be the beginning of prosperity hmm I lost it. Anyway, when I do find it, I'll talk about it. Okay, my dear viewers, so we know what's going on here. We understand what the arguments are all about. Now we move forward to the next level. I'm just shocked how I lose things on the table. I really get shocked. Okay, let's move to the next one. And the next one is the Two of Pentacles. Let's see what the Two of Pentacles is all about. And it looks like there is a situation where it's been you've been feeling restricted overwhelmed or at the mercy of someone else's rules unhappy very unhappy and you're leaving you're finally the truth is uh, letting you leave or somebody's leaving maybe you are being honest with someone and saying i'm trapped i don't feel like i want this anymore and they're leaving they're leaving because it's either yourself or someone else um emotionally unhappy where you are leaving to find happiness so you are making a, a wise decision here by leaving and look at this abundance that's going to give you a power at the time where there's going to be a karmic ending this ending could be death okay sometimes the ten of swords is to do with end of a karma but when the death card comes with it now, this isn't written in any books. This is an old ancient way of uh, looking at everything. When the death card unites with the ace of sword or when it unites with the ten of swords, there could be a passing for some, not for everybody. So it is at that time where there's a lot of abundance is coming. A lot of money is coming unexpected That's going that you are wanting to control and take really you know stock of because this is life changing money foundation changing where you can buy and you can buy bigger become in a better situation you know buy a better home buy buy everything you've always wanted um empowerment to the highest level with the magician big time so once you make the decision once you're leaving once some something ends this is where what's happening and it could happen after november we don't know but at least you know that there is something incredible happening after death and there it is see again we've got the coffin and then why i say that because there is i see that there is somebody passing so this could be an inheritance from someone possibly an inheritance so that is possible not a hundred percent not to every scorpio but to some, I feel like um, there could be the passing of someone since we have uh, double death cards and the Ten of Swords. But for the most, it's um, a karmic, for the majority, a karmic ending of a chapter. Let's have a look at the 
transformations that are going to take place and you need to be patient for. Let's see, what is that all about, the temperance? Okay, so you've been sacrificing, you've been putting your interests aside and just putting up with something, finally you're free to go. Somebody's leaving. You could be leaving, somebody else could be leaving that you were sacrificing for, time for them to go. You're traveling, you're free, you're taking action, you're able to. So just a little bit is left and you are going to get there. Now, let's have a look at, there it is, the Ace of, <laughs> the one that I was looking for. This is the one, the beginning of prosperity. Now, I don't know how to put it together, but it's okay. I've done it. This is the one that I was trying to say, uh, to look for. So let's look at the Ace of Pentacles, the beginning of prosperity. Let's see what is that for all Scorpios. Yes, you're, some of you are relocating. Some of you are, you know, it could be like um, somebody's moving. That's for sure. There's decisions about moving. There's decisions about separating. There's decisions about going to a better place. I feel like a lot of hidden matters are coming to light, and that's going to help you see your path clearly where you're heading. What's happening? How you're going to live your life? How things are progressing? You will be able to see things. And I feel this new beginning is going to give you abundance of happiness and prosperity coming your way. So, uh, absolutely great. What else is uh, what you don't? Yes, there is. This kept on coming, my dear um, Scorpio. I feel like water energy. This could be someone of water energy that could be relocating or somebody that you could be sort of supporting but there is someone supportive here water energy but the, I also feel like there could be some important factors that you need to face up to uh, regarding someone of water energy Scorpio Cancer Pisces we'll find out about all this later the beginning of prosperity and somebody could be supporting you to move forward a lot of things are happening here my goodness so I feel like you know with the spiral and everything that shows here there is the new beginning for sure giving you abundance absolute abundance and i feel like the tree of life it's doing its its part where it's actually the tree of life here um showing that your life is changing the foundation of your life is changing you might be escalating to high levels in life you might be elevating and um, this new beginning is the beginning of prosperity. It might be something really incredible happening in your life that is also uplifting you. I'll just lift this up. <laughs> uplifting you and helping you celebrate something magnificent. Something magnificent is happening that you're celebrating, my dear Scorpio. Something major in November. Prepare yourself. The tree of life is choices that you're making that are taking you to the next stop. So next level. So, so much is happening and you're leveling up. So now we know the new beginning and what it's all about. We've done that. What's the next thing? Now we come to the star sign combination of the person that you are going to be overwhelmed with. Don't forget, we said we, there was earth energy. This one here, earth energy. And there's water energy. There's fire energy, water, fire. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see who it is that you are overwhelmed with, consumed with, and dealing with the most. We want double and triple to make it 100% November for all Scorpios. What are their star sign combination? We're going to take five cards. Oops, we got the first one. And we've got fire, Aries. And this is the card of Aries. How convenient. That's Aries there. So you will be overwhelmed with someone that's fire energy, Aries. Let's go further. What else they've got in them? There might be two people that you'll be consumed with overwhelmed with let's see november for all scorpios and the next one is gemini aries and gemini hmm. i know some scorpios have children that are aries and gemini so let's have a look wait a minute let's see okay we've got aquarius someone that has aquarius in them air energy some scorpios could be leaving air energy but I'll just take two more, and those two will determine everything. Let's see what they are. We have Saturn, Capricorn. This is the Earth energy, and we have Venus. Okay, very interesting. Now, we've got Saturn, the rule of Capricorn. This is the Earth energy I was talking about, but we've got Venus. Venus is the rule of two star signs. First, Taurus. First Libra and then Taurus. But why I talk about Taurus first? Because it's Earth energy. Remember I said this person could be um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So we've got Tor uh, Taurus and Capricorn, two Earth energies. They're ruling planets Saturn and Venus. So this person is 100% more Earth we have than anything else. Then we've got Air. 
we have triple air. Why I say we have triple air? Because we've got Venus again. Venus is a ruler of Libra. So there's someone that has Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Now, this is also an air energy very strong here. Now, that's why I said there is a possibility that you could be leaving an air energy. Why I say that is because water and air don't go well together. They don't go well together unless by miracle the person has a lot of earth in them and air to make this possible. So what I'm saying is that there's a possibility that you're leaving air energy. Um, there could be a very strong possibility someone that has air energy is leaving because there's a um, um, disconnection. That there isn't that much strong um, connection between you and air energy. I feel like an air energy is leaving. That's what I feel very strongly. And there is fire. Now, fire is Aries, there's Al, but there could be also Leo or Sagittarius, very strong. So we got Earth, the strongest. That's very important to know. And you need Earth to thrive, my dear Scorpio. You need Earth to expand, to thrive, to be able to be happy, to get everything you want, to be understood, to be needed, to be wanted, to be understood more than anything, understood, so that you don't co constantly battle for what is right, what is justice, justified. You you know, you'll understand what I'm talking about, my dear Scorpio. So Earth energy helps you understand everything. You replenish them. They need you. And they, because of everything within you, for Earth, you are the, the Earth is thirsty. Let's put it in a, in, a, in a simple way. You are the water for a thirsty desert. You are the water. And Earth for you, my dear Scorpio, is land for you to expand and move so this person what it means is with this person and i feel like this is the earth one that i'm talking about you'll be able to do things you'll be able to go places do things together someone reliable someone you can trust someone that you can do things together do so much fun stuff together you know you will expand your mind and your thinking and, and you want to go places and see things and you will do exceptionally well with someone that is um, earth energy talking about uh, uh, air I feel like you could be dealing with someone that is air and fire, which makes them very sensual, but uh, they always get very angry quickly. Hence, we've got this uh, constant battling and, you know, um, disagreement. So and feeling trapped and unhappy and and wanting to go and then end of a very karmic chapter. And I feel this karmic chapter is to do with air energy and fire. God help me if I'm. I'm not wrong, but if it's misinterpreted for those of you who are in the young years, like those of you who are below 35 and you're starting your life and meeting someone like an Aquarius with Libra or um, Aries, you'll be so excited. They're so attractive. They're so exciting. They're so passionate. You think, what is she talking about? Oh, my God, I just met this person. I'm in love. Oh, this is the one, you know, but... It's a problem here. We have different levels of life. People always at the beginning of their life, they meet someone incredible. Then later on, they're learning. We learn as we grow older, as we mature, we find like we think, oh, my God, I, I know my soulmate is an Aquarius or my soulmate is a Gemini. And then later on, you find out that, no, it's, we're constantly bickering. And when years go by, you get to understand that. You'll understand what I'm talking about. So I feel like there's an elevation now in Scorpio's life. That's why I'm talking. Your vibrations are heightened. You're getting awakened and you're going through a realization that you are in a very unhappy relationship. And I feel like this person that you are with could be air, fire, could be water with air, water energy being Scorpio, like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, with air energy. Uh, and a little bit of fire, which makes them erupt uh, and unhappy or unsettled or not connected with you, not compatible. And what we're talking about today, my dear Scorpio, why I'm talking like this is because you are destined to be with your soulmate, not to mention not only soulmate, but you're destined to be with your, uh, full, full fulfillment. You have to be emotionally fulfilled and happy, and that can only be provided by your soulmate. We've got the lovers here, yes, but there was also a soulmate card, I think. And if there wasn't a soulmate card, there was something else that told me that you are going to be with your soulmate. What was it? Okay, we've got the earth energy, which goes am amazingly with you. But I could have sworn. Oh, yeah, bond. This one. Nurturing the bond of friendship within your relationship. To have bond in a relationship, we're talking about soulmate. That's the only thing that is spectacular, effortless, and magical. And passion and everything. Passion can be with someone that could end, but passion 
can be with someone that is a soulmate, someone that you're making decisions about. This is incredible and having fulfillment with. So I feel like it's going to be the basis of everything. The foundation is earth energy and then everything else comes later. Whether it's water, whether it's fire, whether it's air, the main thing is the earth. And we've got Virgo Taurus here. Did I? Virgo Taurus? No, we have Capricorn, sorry. Capricorn Taurus here, very strong. Virgo is another one, but it wasn't out here today. The main thing is for you to know that once you get earth energy, someone wonderful like this person, you are going to be thriving. You are going to be able to do so much together. You are going to grow together. You are going to expand together. You are going to become strong together. Mark my words, remember these words and tell me what you think. I can't wait to hear your opinion about this reading i look forward to it in fact give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do share your comments with me i look forward to reading them i do wish you love and light and a lot of happiness in your birthday and i wish you a wonderful year with lots of love and a lot of abundance my dear 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 Scorpio, don't forget, if you enjoy my readings, please support me by subscribing to the channel and support me by seeing the videos all the way till the end because when they're not watched all the way to the end, then the algorithms always um, affect uh, the way the channel improves. So it makes it, there's issues with algorithms. So watching the video, letting it run till the end and clicking on one or two ads will support me big time and it doesn't cost you a thing. Anything I do, doesn't cost anything please be aware of, of scammers i do not do readings i do not do personal readings i do not take money at any cost there's no money in anything i do it's absolutely free i wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light